Morning everybody. I simply cannot believe that we are on our final missionary discipleship task. It seems so long ago that we started it and I have to say myself and the other lead lay chaplains have been incredibly impressed with all of your entries and your dedication to being outward facing Christians. So this week, much like the last few weeks, we've been going through the gifts of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gives us this amazing gift of awe and wonder, and we use the term awesome. So it allows us to see things, be amazed by them, and then hopefully in turn, be inspired by them. Take a look at a couple of these. Now I have to say very, very quickly, please don't try any of those at home. But the idea of watching somebody who is inspiring, who is awesome at what they're doing, hopefully that inspires us to do the same. The words and the lyrics in that video said, you are stronger and braver than you know. And that's true. I simply want to say to you today, you are awesome. I think sometimes we get a bit muddled up when we hear the saying, we're made in the image and likeness of God. That doesn't mean we look like him. It means that we have his attributes, we have his qualities. So above all things, you as a person are loving, you're kind, you're forgiving, you're compassionate. And sometimes I think we forget that we are these things. We focus on our negatives, perhaps what we're not the best at or things that we struggle with. Your task this week is to tell everybody how you're awesome. If we hide away and don't show other people what we're good at or what our talents are, then we tell them that it's okay to hide their talents too and we stop being inspired by others. What I'd like you to do this week is to sit in front of a mirror. When you look at your reflection, I want you to pretend it's God looking back at you. So instead of using the words that you would use to describe yourself, use the words that God would describe yourself or describe you. So if I were to sit in front of the mirror, now obviously we all do it, don't we? We look at our negatives straight away, and that's what we're not going to do. We're going to think of the words that God would use to describe us. So I might look in the mirror and think, uh, maybe funny. I don't like to think sometimes I'm funny. Compassionate. I like to look after other people. Loving. I want you to do the same. I'd like you to write down the words that God would describe you as, that makes you awesome. And I want you to send those words into your lead lay chaplain and they will be featured on this week's 2.30 Hangout Club. Uh, and then you are, in turn, showing the entire world. It's not a bad thing to look at yourself and see what you're good at and what your good qualities are. But because if we focus on them and not the negatives, then you allow other people to do the same. Okay, guys, I, I hope you have fun doing this week's missionary discipleship task. I can't wait to see all the wonderful words you think God would use to describe you. Take care. Bye.